Hi booktube, I'm here today to talk about my 2022 stats. Um, I'm not going to have any charts or anything. Um, I'm kind of late to the game obviously. Um, I just kind of want to tell you the information and uh, my thoughts on the information. So my computer over here so I'll be glancing over there to look at the, uh, the stats. Um, so let's start off with the t total amount of books I've read. Um, it was 94 books. Um, I, I wish I had read more. Um, I feel like there were quite a few months where um, I had a lot of lulls in my reading. I a lot of changes in life. You know, I moved from one province like to another province, like <laughs> so that was a big change. And uh, then in December I got um, COVID, and then like a lot of anxiety around Christmas, and then I got the flu. Uh, so I think I maybe read one thing in December. So those all affected my uh, number of books that I've read. Uh, but I did manage to read 24,890 pages, uh, which is good. That means the average page of my books was 264.78723404426. <laughs> I know that's oddly specific, but I, that's just the math. Uh, I thought it was fun. Um, I didn't listen to a lot of audiobooks. Um, which I think is probably where the number kind of dipped down because I used to listen to a lot of audiobooks um, with, uh, with the job that I did, but now my job, my commute is like 10 to 15 minutes there and then 10 to 15 minutes back, so like it's not a lot of time to, to listen, whereas before I was spending like 2-3 hours each day in the car, um, sometimes like up to 5 hours in the car, so I could listen to a lot more audiobooks. Um, but I listened to a total of 50 hours and 14 minutes in audiobooks. Uh, my average rating throughout the year was uh, 3 point... I guess it could be 3.9 if we round it up. Um, yeah, I'm a very generous rater, so... And I know what I like, so I'll DNF a book before, you know, I tend to give it one or two stars. Uh, sometimes I'll plow through, but um, other times I'll just put it down. So that's why my rating's so high. Okay, uh, gender breakdowns. This is this is surprising. I like this. I think this is where the library helped. <laughs> um, I read a lot of books from the library. Um, so I read um, 50 books by males and then 41 by females. Um, usually that number is much more higher on the male side. Um, so I'm glad that the female side is uh, climbing up there. I read one book by a person with, uh, who identifies as non-binary and one book by a person who identifies as two-spirited, and one book that was written by a mix of people. Genders. Um, other diversity numbers. Um, I read uh, 48 uh, BIPOC authors, uh, which is, I think it, was it worked out to 51% of my reading, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, six uh, translated works. Um, 11 works by authors with disabilities. Um, and I want to increase that number um, going forward as well. Uh, and then 20 of the authors I read identified uh, somewhere on the LGBTQ plus um, alphabet mafia. Um, <laughs> somewhere in the A to Z's of that. Um, yeah, uh, so I read 44 books from the library, uh, which is a huge chunk of my reading. Um, and that's cool, I love the library, uh, but I, I buy a lot of books. I also love buying them at thrift stores. Um, so I got to start reading from my own shelf. Um, Cause I only read 32 books from my own shelf. Uh, the rest were uh, 12 eBooks and then six audiobooks. Is how many I read this year. Um, 60 of my books were non were fiction, and then 34 were nonfiction. I did a lot of nonfiction reading um, later on in the year um, and you'll notice like my favorite list is there's 10 nonfiction on there and only five fiction um, like I just I loved my nonfiction this year uh, the top genres I read from why not I read uh, 15 fantasy 15 that I pit just under fiction um, 13 memoirs which surprised me um, that I read that many <laughs> uh, 10 science fictions uh, nine books on religion. My goal is usually 12, so that number is kind of low. And then six uh, on history, and then the rest were just a mix of everything else. 
Uh, the shortest book I read is actually a comic. It was an Agrisuko comic at 43 pages. Uh, but the shortest non-comic book I read was Mouth Human Must Die by Lee D. Thompson. And that was 46 pages long. So quite short there. Uh, the longest book I read was Midnight Tides by Stephen Erickson and that was 960 pages. Um, so yeah, quite a, quite a difference there between the shortest and the longest. Um, and all the countries I've read from I thought would be interesting to go through. Obviously the US, uh, I think that's for a lot of booktubers. <laughs> um, then Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Cuba, Denmark, France, Germany, India, Japan, Jordan, Korea, Romania, Syria, and Ukraine. So that's USA, Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Cuba, Denmark, France, Germany, India, Japan, Jordan, Korea, Romania, Syria, and Ukraine. That's 15 countries, uh, which is not bad, I think. Um, I'd like to be more uh, diverse in that uh, going forward. But yeah, so that's my little stats video, uh, not as in-depth as other years have been, but um, that's all I felt like collecting and sharing. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know what your most surprising stat was. My most surprising was was how much I think I read from the library and how much nonfiction I read. It was the most surprising for me. Um, thank you for watching.